Hello YouTube and welcome to the final episode of Small Town Big Dreams. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Can't believe it's the final ever episode. Well, there's one more after this, but it's not going to be the same. Today we face Wigan in the last game of the season. As you, If you haven't seen the last episode, check out the last episode to see what happened. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it. We are champions. We went up with six games left to go. We played a few games. It's the last game of the season. There's still a lot to play for in the league, essentially. But we but we are champions. We've already gone up to League One. Can't believe we're end it's the end of the season. It's the end of of this little series, in all fairness. Episode thirty. We've done well. Four seasons, thirty episodes, it's not bad at all. Not bad. If we started it a bit earlier in the year, we might have been Premier League. Maybe Champions League. But hopefully, whoever takes over from us will get there. Eventually. We hope. If you do enjoy the episode, please hit that like button. Also, if you'd like to see more of my content and for FM22 as well, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to let you know when a new video does come out on the channel. Right, let's jump into it. Let's see how we got on since we've become champions and last game of the season. Oh, and season review, of course. So, since the title clinching match against Worldstone with a 4 1 win, we have played six games in the league. Nothing really matters now because we're all the champions, nothing, you know. We, first game was Crew, a 2 2 draw with Crew. Marilla getting a goal from the penalty spot on Mario Ferreira. Uh, Swindon was a 3 0 home win. Uh, Santos, Marilla, and Moreira in the second half, making it 3 0 for us, another home win. A 1-0 away win against Shrewsbury with Pereira getting the goal in the 24th minute. Uh, then another 1-0 away win against Northampton. Santos getting the goal in the second half. A 1-0 home win against uh, Newport County. Uh, more, Badly Morgan in the 12th minute. And then we finished with a 2-0 home win. Last home game of the season against Rochdale with Santos and Marilla getting the goals. We've been unbeaten in the league for a very, very long time. Our last um, league defeat was a 1-0 against Fleetwood in December. So we've gone second half of the season undefeated in the league. And the league looks like this. We're going into the last game of the season. Like I said, lots to do to play for. Forest Green have also been promoted. Uh, Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury in the playoffs. Wigan, Rochdale, Crew, and Fleetwood are currently sitting in the playoffs. But Bolton, Grimsby and... Maybe a slight chance Newport County could creep in there. Today's opponents, Wigan, are going for automatic promotion. They're currently sitting fourth, so it's not going to be an easy game. And at the bottom of the table, Leighton Orient, Barrow and Carlisle are fighting that out. One of those teams will stay up. One of them will go down. Carlisle do have Grimsby. Hmm. Grimsby are fighting for playoffs. Could be interesting. Barrow do have with Barrow. Ooh. I miss Barrow. Barrow have Newport as well. Newport are fighting for uh, playoffs. And Leighton Norium, gone blind, have Worldstone. Okay. Let's jump into today's starting 11 for the last ever game I'm going to take charge of. Sad times. Sad times. And here is the starting 11. We've got Coleman in goal. We've got Max, Zach, and Morgan in the defence. Faruja on the left, Galvez on the right, Pereira and Leon as centre midfielders, Marilla and Santos as our attacking midfielders, and Mario Ferreira up front on his own. With Julio, Silva, Egbert, Toraj, Bennett, Gamboa and Blake all on the bench. This is my last ever game as a Yate Town manager in FM21. Let's go out with a bang, boys. You know, let's go out and enjoy it. So Wigan are fighting for automatic promotion, so it's not going to be an easy game. Here we go then. Teams are walking out. It's a sad moment. It is a very sad moment. The hairband's still in there. The hairband's still looking good. We're still rocking the hairband like that. But we're going to kick us off. They're kicking from right to left with Griffiths with two Fs this time. Not the one, two. And for Ruger with the tackle. A good away support. The supporters have grown over the season. The supporters have come. We've had more attending, people attending, which is good. Griffin, two Fs. We'll not do that all game. Morgan can clear as far as Heskiff. It plays it back to Grad Granite. Close. Wigan corner, two minutes played. The first chance of the game. Griffin whip it in, whips it in front post. It's cleared by Zach, who's been solid all season. Unbelievable. Heskiff pokes it just wide of the goal. First chance, Wigan. Seven minutes played. Morgan with a free kick. Pereira. 
turns on it, he's attacking, gives it to Leon. Santos gives it up to Galvez on his right hand side. We're building the push up slowly. Still Galvez gets it in Santos. Ferreira. Galvez. Ferreira. Galvez and left foot. And Page makes an easy save to his left. Good build up though. Good slow build up. Page clears it down the line. There's poor clearance. Sweet Morgan heads it to Leon. Finds Ferruz on his left hand side. He's travelling forward. He's got people behind him and he wants to please the pair black. He does. Maria. Santos. Come on. Kaliba Santos was 13th goal of the season. What a game changer he is. He's been him and Marilla in that attack in the field well. But for Ruja, it's a great play by Ruja. Gets to the byline, cuts it back for Marilla. First home cross, Santos six yards out, smashes it home, 1 0. Wiggins' automatic promotion has listened to taking a dent. Galvez the throw, 12 minutes played. It's gone long, Hendry can clear it as far as Leon, edge of the box, have a shot, Sam, have a pop. He looked for the pass instead for Ruja. Marilla. Oh, it's a good save by Page. What a save that is. Corner. 13 minutes to be played. There we go. 13 on the dot. We're getting good at this now. Ruja whips it in. Marilla heads. He misses the ball completely. And Wigan can come away with Asanas. It's a good tackle by Pereira. And the referee's given a free kick. No no booking, anything like that. I thought it was a good tackle, but I think it was given. Uh, Galvez, a long throw to Pereira. Mario gives it to Leon, edge of the box. Marilla back to Leon. Leon shoots and sits aside and net him. Another chance created and a highlight straight away. We're going to try to play it out of the box. We're pressing them high, so they have to go long. Griffin gets it though. Ferruja gets his foot in. No, he doesn't. Gives it to Greenwood. Heads it to Heskip, a support header. Ferreira gives it to Santos, to Leon. Marilla. It's a quick move through ball. Oh, what a pass! Santos makes it too. Marilla and Santos, what a team they have become for us. It was a poor header. He retrieved the ball with Ferreira, gives it to Leon, finds Marilla, and Marilla just the vision, the run from Santos, and just slots it. It's 2 0, 15 minutes played. Griffin with a free kick just inside our half. It's whipped in, it's cleared. Griffin again, no foul given. I thought that might have been a foul, might have been a push, but Ferreira comes up with the ball. Going down the right hand side. He's looking for the cross. You're cut in and gets the cross in back post moving on the volley. And it's a tamed effort. Page can just catch it. Close to a tackle on Morella. Masanas. We're gonna have got to sort it out otherwise Ian will not be getting automatic promotion. It's a poor tackle. Referee says play on. Close to a long ball. Got the green with left back post. Safe hands by Coleman. Great safe hands. 23 minutes played, and we're gonna play it out the back again. There's four of us up there pressing. Maybe a bit too many, but they've got out of it. Hendry. Back pass to Heskiff. Close. Out to Hendry and his left hand side for Wigan. Looks inside, but is picked up by Leon. He gives it to Marilla in midfield. Pereira. He's driving forward. Farouge is on his left hand side. He's gone past the defender. Friend is catched up there. Got, got back. Griffin gets tackled him. He's fallen to Leon. Farouge is still there on the left hand side. Leon's still got it though. Gets it to the box. Now Farouge, time and space on the ball to get the cross in. Gets it in back post. Santos heads are high. High. Very high. It was a chance though. It was a chance. So far, the first 27 minutes, we have dominated Wigan. I thought there would be a bit more of a, a bit more of a competition. But Heskiff on the ball. So I've always said 2 0 is not a very comfortable result. Was Anas. It's gone past the defender, whips it in. It's cleared as far as Galvez. It's clear from Galvez, sorry. Heskiff. Hendry, that's a two foot tackle referee. That's disgusting. Gets him off. Nothing given. Richards. It's a chance for Wigan. Oh, and they've hit the post. Richards with a glorious chance. They've hit the post and the ball retreat goes back in the Coleman's hands. They're looking dangerous now. They've got to step it up. 36 minutes played. Galvez with a very long throw to them. He gives it to no one. Morgan. Out to Max. He, his loan finishes this season. He's been fantastic for the two seasons we've had him. Galvez on his right hand side. His loan finishes as well, I think. Leon. Back to Galvez. Whips it in. Far post is Farouja. Takes time. Shoots. What a save by Page. What an acrobatic save. Farouja. Near post. Granite can clear it. And Pereira, who have picked up a booking. He's now got to be careful. 
30 yards out, free kick. Moana gives it to Leon with a little flick, because it's in the season, why not? If we get a penalty, Coleman's taking it. Santos gets it out to Max. He's got time and space to pick up a pass. Picks out Leon. No one's person. Max, what are you still doing out there, son? Zach's up there now. Everyone's up there. It must be the end of the season. Leon. Ball back post is cleared as far as Matt Cook. And we're going to on the counter. It's two on two. Richards out to Greenwood. The right is not Mason. It's a good strike and it's blocked. And it falls to Ferreira. He's gone past one. Oh no. The burst of pace is past two. The shoots his left foot. Always oh, going away from goal. I think his left, his left foot is the strongest foot. Still chances to go. 42 minutes played. Wigan with the throw. It's a poor throw. Pereira picks it up. Gives it to Marilla. Box down my line, but Griffin gets there. Close. McCook. McGurk. McGurkin. McGurkin. Greenwood's a good chest with a good tackle by Galvez. Still Greenwood. Back to Hendry. Back to Greenwood. We're going to build in there. Building some pressure. Heskiff. Close is a poor pass. But Pereira gets it. Pereira, he's got two players. Oh, he finds Marilla. Marilla! Oh, one on one. And Page makes it look easy. Another clear goal scoring opportunity. But injury time was first half, and we're going to have a throw in our box. Richards. Oh, we could have scored from that. Richards was a great header. For some reason, there was five minutes injury play. Ah, it's because Dion Griffin with two F's has gone down injured. He went off injured. Hopefully, it's not serious. 2 0, good first half. We're going to have to create chances though. Pereira. Just calm down, son. 45 minutes left of this series. Oh. 2 0. If you get a penalty, Coleman will be taking it. Okay, that's what I do last game of the season. So we just picked up a knock, so we're looking to take him off in a second. Oh! Oh, Zach Orr with his fourth goal of the season. What a header that was. He's had a fantastic season. Unbelievable season. Solid. And some teams are looking at him as well, which is good. Well, it's not good for the club, but it's good for him. Page gets a hand and it just can't get enough on it. 3-0. Game over. So with the game at 3-0, we are going to take Farouge off. He's picked up a slight groin injury. And we've got big on Gamboa. It's not going to make much difference. I don't want to make it this injury any worse than they'll be out for that beginning of next season. You know, it's going to be a groin injury, so it's not drastic, but you never know in this game. Leon with the ball. Out to Gamboa. Back to uh, Morgan. Badly, Morgan. Gamboa. It's gone long. Mario's onto it. Can Mario get, pin, get something out of this? Mario. Get a penalty. It'd be fantastic. Oh, he didn't. Marilla! Oh! I think it hit Santos on the way through. It went out for a goal kick. It looked like it. 72 minutes in. Hendry now with a throw in for Wiggum. McKay whips it in. Greenwood on the header. Richards! He gets his goal. Waddell Richards, 15th goal of the season. 18 minutes played. Surely not. Comeback beyond. Surely not. It's well worked. Good cross. Greenwood with a little flick on. Richards back post. Just lost sight of him for two seconds, but 3-1. Marilla, 75 minutes in, whips it in, back post, it's cleared by Hugh. As far as Mackay and Wigan are pushed all players forward. Harper, the ball was right, they might be in. We've delayed it a little bit, still Harper. Looking for the Mackay in the middle. Back to Barmer, he's switched out to Greenwood. On this left-hand side for Wigan. He's travelling forward. Player on that right is Hendry. Looking at the cross here, gives it back to Greenwood. Back to Hendry, he's got time, whips it in. Richard on the volley. He's had some chances, Richard. He has had some chances. Eight minutes to go, Pereira is booked, and he's absolutely shy. He'll be coming off at Egg Butts. And we're going to bring off Mario and bring on Tolaj for the last eight minutes of the game. Surely the game's done, done and dusted, but you never know. A goal now might change things. Egbert clears it. As far as Tolaj, can you get there first? He does. It's a great first touch. He sizes the defender up. Going down his left. Referee's gone down. Oh, referee, that's a penalty. Coleman is furious. You can tell he's furious. That's a penalty all day long. Coleman thought he was getting his goal bonus in. Hendry on this left-hand side for Wigan. The game continues. No I think VAR were giving that. Not going to lie. Hendry. 
It's a good ball through to Harper. Players in the middle for Wigan. He gets there. Richards again is blocked. How many more chances is Richards going to get? Throw for, for Wigan. Rosanas. It's close. Whips it in. Greenwood. He misses it. Harper. They've had their chances, Wigan. Really have. It only says eight shots and three of them on target. But they've. it seemed like they've had a lot more chances than that. Injury time then of the last game of the season. The last game of the series. And Santos, can we finish it off with a spectacular... <gasps> I was going to say, can we finish it off with a spectacular goal? And it was close. Injury time, of injury time. Galbraith to the corner, it's whipped in. Oh, the header. Oh, it's flipped the bomb, gone over. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Referee's going to blow it up. There we go. A 3-1 win over Wigan. Wigan don't get automatic promotion. We finish the series with a win, which is good. Some great football as well. You see some great team goals. And this is the final league standings after all the games have been played. Watchdale make it into automatic promotion. Watchdale official 1 0 win over Cheltenham. So that means Crew, Fleetwood, Shrewsbury, and Wigan all set off for playoffs. And Carlisle and Barrow are relegated. Leighton Orient pulled themselves out with a 4 2 win over Worldstone. Two goals in the 86th minute, giving them a 4 2 win. Wow. Bolton at some point. last I swear that Bolton were in the playoffs. They lost 2 1 the crew. And they finished. Oh, it's going to be tight. We're going to go promote. It's going to be tight. Congratulations, Watchdale and Forest Green for going up. Commiserations for Carlisle and Barry who got relegated. Wow. What a final day of the season. Injury wise for Griffin. Hopefully he's not out for too long. Doesn't uh, injure for two to three months with torn knee ligaments. Oh, sorry, boy. Farouge is up for six to eight days of a groin. Luckily, pulled him off. Could have been worse. And Marilla, unbelievable. What a final game of the season he had. So, season review time, boys and girls. It's usually a day after. We were given 27,000 for finishing first in League Two. It's not a lot of money, is it? Let's be honest. I thought it might be a little bit more. And here we go then. The end of season review for the 20, 22, 23 season. We are champions of League Two. We've had a good, it's been a good sort of season. Uh, the new arrivals. Everyone played some sort of game time. Not as much as I thought they would. Yeah, Yarny Black didn't play. One sub game. No, it's fine. It's, it is what it is. But, if, but players on loan. Egbert, he's going back. He's played 33 times. Max is going back to Tottenham. He played 44 times. He had a good season. 7.5. But our best player was Kaliba Santos from Gamero. 19 appearances, 14 goals, 7 assists. And Payela Marella. I love that saying that name. Payela Marella. 23 appearances, 14 goals and 7 assists. Those two were unbelievable. Even David Green, our left back, 11 appearances. He had a good, solid season. And there we go then. How it unfolded. Board one to each playoffs. We won the league. Average home attendance was 4,550. That's not bad. It's our new stadium. It's going to be 5 grand. 5 grand? 5,000. It's going to cost 4 million for 5,000. It's better be state of the art. A plus for that, fantastic. Like I said, we finished top of the league on 114 points, losing four games all season against Fleetwood, Newport, Crew, and Forest Green. <sighs> Six draws, Crew. So we didn't beat Crew at all this season. Okay. Cheltenham, Shrewsbury, Northampton, Oldham, and Barrow. See, we drew a Barrow and they went down. Inconsistency, but we still got wins. Is the main thing. Biggest win was a 6 0 against second in the league, Forest Green. But Mario getting himself four goals. Match two members of 4 1 against Leighton Orient. Apparently so. Don't know why. And goal of the season is Egbert's 90, 92nd minute goal. Let's check it out. So here's the Egbert's goal of the season, apparently. Mateus, there's a poor tackle. Castro. Or oh, it's gone past two, past two players. Castro, keep going, son. Egbert's takes a touch. Left foot. That's not a bad goal. I've seen better. I have seen better, but we'll take it. That was on the 30th of January. 
definitely seen better gold rush this season than that. For the finances, remember last season we only sold 99 shirts. Let's see what we sold this year. Uh, right, the finances, okay, the club reputation hasn't really gone up. Sponsorship deals, we have none. Uh, revenue, only slightly a bit more than we had last year. Broadcast, we've made a hell of a lot more, being now a professional team. Corporate, we've made a lot more as well. Competition plays, slightly 40 grand less than we made last season. And match day, commercial and retail, we've made a hell of a lot more. Total merchandise sales, 70,000, which is fantastic. Shirts sailed, it's 1,205, compared to the 99 that we sold last season. Wow. A total average, number 18 was the highest one. But with Ferreira, Pereira, Castro, Marilla. Fair play. We will take the team a fair amount this season. However, our key players played the main role in how the season turned out. Yeah. Marilla played training three times. Santos. And this tactic, again, is RDF's tactic. It's a very good tactic. Hopefully in FM22, he will come up with some absolute beauts as well. Can't wait to use them. Manager Awards. What did I win this year? Manager of the Year? Yes. And one and four Manager of the Month's Club Awards. Here we go. Fans Player of the Season was Faruja. Young Player of the Season was Santos. Signing of the Season was Santos. The Goal of the Season was Egbert, which was, was decided by the fans. We've seen better goals, though. I don't, I don't recognise that. Top Goal Scorer was Toraj on 21. Most Assists was Faruja on 24. Most Man of Matches Awards was Castro on 8. Highest average rating was for Ruge on 7.5. Most passes completed for per 90 minutes was Gamboa on 49. He likes the passes, man. He does like a pass. Does like a pass. Solid player as well. Records broken. What we got? Most goals in the match was Ferreira on 4. We had that anyway. Uh, most goals at the end of that. Most assists in a player by C. So we've got a new assists um, record breaker. Most clean sheets. Common 32 clean sheets. Most league appearances now has been broken by Max. Most uh, highest transfer fee was Yarnu Black for 200k. And guess what? He played one game. That was it. And Castro was the fastest goal of the season with 20 seconds. Your hard work and effort paid off. 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 Pay, your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch, and such a feat didn't go unrewarded at the end of the season award ceremony. Wow! It was a superb season for the Bluebells, who succeeded expectations throughout the campaign and claimed a deserved title. We did indeed. We did indeed. Let's have a look at the league table. Let's see who got most goals. Top goal scorer in League 2 was Liam Morrell from Crewe for 26. Duncan Butterworth for Bolton and Parrish for Wellstone. Not one striker at that, but I don't know what we still got. How many goals did we score? 113 goals. And not one of our strikers is at there. We did rotate our strikers a bit, but fair play. Average ratings, it's, it's absolutely filled by us. Santos, Faruja, and Marilla. Assist 23 for Faruja. Seven more than Politic for Bolton. Man of matches, Morel for nine for Crew gets top one for that one. Castro there of seven for us. Clean sheets, 26 in the league for Coleman. And the other cards we are not a part of, which is good. Fantastic. Players inducted into Yate overall best 11. We've got some decent players there. Oh, Malt. Lewis Malt. Still, even now, still can't get his blade name like Galvez. Power. Power's there. Where's he to? He's at Alfreton Town now. Wow, Mitchell Curry's still at Yate. Or is he? No, he's at Warsaw. Did I sell Mitchell Curry? Jim Leeds over in the board. He is still at Montreal. He's valued at 3.3 million. Yeah, a good couple of seasons there. Faruja Sheaf. Still at Sunderland. Yeah, still that. Violet 7 million now. Wow. Conroy Coleman. We've had some decent players play for us. Expectations for next season. Well, I'm not going to be here. So, yeah, we'll accept whatever you want to do. Whatever your next manager's going to do. League 1. Promotion by winning the league. And training facilities complete. Oh, my God. In the season, I'd be in that. I'd be leaving in a short while. But that is it. Series done. Over and I just wow, four seasons. I wish it went on longer, but FM twenty two is just around the corner. But don't worry, we still got one more episode left to do. So what am I gonna do after this? I'm going to leave Cape Town. 
and we're going to give them a top manager. We're going to give them some money, and we're going to sim it for five years, and see where Yate turn out. Do Yate become a Premiership team? They become all the Championship team. Are they going to go? Any, could they go downhill? And we're going to find out. See you in the next episode. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this episode, click that like button and subscribe button and the little notification bell to let you know when a new video is out on the channel. I hope you enjoyed the series. I've enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Until next time, guys. Until FM22 when you see this beautiful face. ta -da. Goodbye. Look after yourself. And peace and love. Bye. It's the hairband. It's the hairband.